A credit to her gender. This is the story of a, uh, the Duchess of Sutherland, who in 1914 took her fleet, she bought a fleet of ambulances, 20 ambulances, stocked them with genteel Edwardian ladies to go and mend the soldiers that were fighting in Belgium, uh, who were casualties of the onslaught by the Germans, and so they took all their ambulances there. And uh, as soon as she got there, they realized that the Germans had gone straight through, and uh, she was behind enemy lines. So the commanding officer of the occupation forces knew the doubt, because they're all, you know, these are aristocratic Germans and she was an aristocratic English one. And they, they went hunting and fishing and shooting together. You know, they were all part of the same little hierarchy, little clique of landed gentry from all over Europe. French were involved in it as well. She, after arriving in Belgium, decided, discovered that this had left and she discovered that the commanding officer was a guy with whom she dined back in the uh, before the war, and um, she left that meeting in the general's chauffeur-driven car. Um, she was allowed to mend all these soldiers for um, about three or four months before the Germans suddenly said, "Well, look, you know, this is getting a bit ridiculous now. You are uh, part of the enemy that we're fighting against, and you're behind enemy lines. Get out!" So. She was evicted. But um, the extraordinary thing is, I thought to make a program about the recollections of these genteel Edwardian girls who had barely seen blood, most of them, and then suddenly to be dropped into this carnage, you know, with missing limbs and holes in people's bodies all over the place, just the most appalling carnage. The recollections of these girls, what, when it first happened, is, is mind-blowing. When you consider that genteel, and they weren't expected to work, these women. These women are, were from elevated families who were expected to just be genteel, marry the right person and, and breed. And suddenly their whole world was changed and turned upside down. And it's an extraordinary story about the, the Countess, who is in my view, uh, an extraordinary woman, but she's celebrated as in Belgium. Every year they ha have a huge memorial for the woman because of what she did. She's forgotten about over here, but every year they have this, uh, this, this day where reverence is given to Dowager, the Duchess of Sutherland. Extraordinary story.